Hi everybody, this is Evie Original, and I am making a video about my gerbils, caramel and chocolate. So a bunch of my friends were wondering, who are caramel and chocolate? What do they look like, and why are they so cute? Well, I have a bunch of answers for that. So I decided to post a video showing exactly how cute they are and why I love them so much. Of course, other than them being my pets. So here you can see chocolate. And chocolate is definitely the older brother. Right now he's chewing on cardboard, which is his second most favorite thing to do other than running in the wheel. So chocolate is the older brother to caramel. He's bigger. He's stronger, and he sort of bosses caramel around. But the difference between chocolate and caramel is that, well, basically, chocolate is lazy. No offense, chocolate. As you can see, he doesn't really care that caramel is stepping on him right now. Caramel, get off your brother. And yes, they actually are brothers. And right now, Caramel is giving a face wash to Chocolate. And they're grooming each other, which is typical for groups of gerbils to do, or pairs. And yeah, so Caramel's cleaning Chocolate's stomach while squeaking at the same time. Caramel, shut up. So yeah, it's Caramel. He's younger. He's very funny. And he loves to play. Oh, and Chocolate absolutely loves the camera. He loves getting his face in it. He has to be in every shot. Don't you, Chocolate? Yeah. See? Oh, stop it. I'm trying to film Caramel. You go away. Shut up. Okay, so, back to Caramel. Chocolate! Stop fighting with that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, Chocolate is being bad and biting my camera string. So right now I'm going to have to go outside the cage and film. Okay, so right now running in the wheel, which is not very typical of him, is Caramel. Caramel is the world's friendliest gerbil. He loves to get held, he loves to play, and he's really funny and very furry and soft. And he never grooms himself, only chocolate. And yeah, he's itching himself right now. Basically, Chocolate does not like to play at all, so it's not very easy to pick him up, especially when I need to clean their cage, which is about once every two weeks. So right now, Caramel's up in his little apartment, up here. Well, he actually came down. He's running the wheel right now. But anyways, they have this neat little contraption thing set up for them that you could buy separately from the cage. And it's really cool. It has like a bunch of different combinations of like tubes and stuff. And they have like this little house. You could open it. You just see them. It's nice and glassy. You could see what they do inside. That's all their cardboard shreds. A few extra pieces. Okay, so right now you might be wondering where they are. And so they're in their typical little hideout. Okay, well, caramel isn't. Okay, chocolate is in his little hideout den thing, which is where he sleeps and goes to the washroom. Which is not very hygienic, it may sound, but that's what gerbils do. So right now, chocolate's up in the compartment. Just open it. Chocolate can say hi to us. Hi, chocolate. Nom nom nom. I'm cute. Go away. I wanted to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, he sleeps a lot, way more than Caramel. Now I'm gonna shove him back inside, get back in. Okay, well that worked. Yeah, so, okay. Why are they cute? Okay, that basically answered itself. They're gerbils, they're cute because they are awesome. And look at them, they're so furry, so furry. See, that is a cute face, right? There's no way you can associate that with a rat. Okay, seriously? Rat? I don't think so. Cute little gerbil fuzzy thing. Yay! Okay, so basically that is 
my video on caramel and chocolate. And now we're just gonna look into chocolate's little den and say goodbye to him. Bye, chocolate. Bye.